one second of favor can be worth more than a whole lifetime of labor. Facts. Wake up, you little sleepers. And rise up, my soul, because we are going somewhere. We've got places to go, money to make, and a God to praise. Ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, click that notification button so when I get information out, you can get information in. Today, we are going to go further than we ever have in getting your grants, and this is going to become a reality for you. Tired of games. Ain't you tired of games? So somebody say, hey, we still want our 10K. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you how this works. If you don't know already, we take comments from everybody out there. Right there. There we go. We have comments. We have comments that we ask for people to let us know where they're at. And they send us where they're at. Say, Sally Sola, New York City. Vicky Looper. Lopper. Loper? Loper Lopper. Hope I torture your name there, Vicky. She says, Houston, Texas. So we have a staff. They look in these places and we either send you a link or we will do a video. Most of the time, we'll just do video in that area. A short, maybe sometimes... Who knows? But we do videos for grants in those areas so you know where to go and look. Hello, Segan Samuel had written, Hello, so we can see, please, is there any possibilities of helping get grants for African projects, especially the one to take care of people in rural areas? Please let me know if you could help in making it happen. That hit me hard. I was like, okay, we got to, let me just try to dig a little deeper here, speak, dig a little deeper. Then below we have Bridgeport, Connecticut, which we just did a video in, in uh, Bridgeport, for Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, a few weeks ago, I believe. And uh, we're going to continue doing it like this as well. But for Segan, Samuel, and everybody out there, everybody, no matter where you're at, this video is for you. We're going to take it a step further. Once again, these are always free. If anybody's trying to get with you in the comments below, saying call me or text me, don't respond because that's not what we're about. We're here with these grants to provide you they're all free of charge to get them and to have them processed. Just takes a little bit of work on your end unless you would like to hire somebody that you know outside of comment spammers and scammers, okay? So just to let you know, don't go there. We're not about that. We are a reality show here. We keep it real and getting you guys money. We're gonna go into this right now and guys, get ready because this could change the way that you live, literally. So here we go. Remember this little bit of information as we go on and as you go forward in your grant search. .gov is always a going to be federal grant program. So if in your search engine you don't have to log in for .gov or if the site doesn't come in as .gov, then it's not a federal grant program and you've probably wandered off the beaten path to where you need to go. So remember, your password or your, your uh, safety net for these grants will be Dot gov. If you get out of that box of dot .gov with your applications, double check it. Okay, let's go. Hi, what special steps do I need today? Three special steps, that's all you need. All right, guys and girls, well, it's not quite that easy, but uh, it is three steps, actually. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and I'm going to lead you and guide you into a place, and I'll have a link down below. Um, this link is going to be arts.gov. Okay, so we're going to go into arts.gov and you'll see this page right here. Um, remember, applying for a federal grant is a multi-step process. Uh, three special steps, yes, it, it is three uh, different pages that you got to go to. But um, it, here are the required registrations. You're going to have three registrations here, ladies and gentlemen, and they're going to go particularly in this order. Uh, create registrations with login.gov, uh, the system in the system award management, which is SAM, and then the uh, grants.gov, okay? These are separate systems. Registration will take several weeks. Once again, guys, this is a new place that, that we're going right here. This is a grant that uh, once you get into this system, uh, it's gonna be, you know, you're pretty much there. And when grants do come up, bam, you're in, okay? So this is good, guys. This is really good. And uh, it doesn't matter where you live, um, grants are popping up and this will literally put you in the front row as well as give you the communications and the people uh, that you need to contact in order to literally go out and reach for these and get these grants, okay? So um, let's let's just go down here. I'm gonna take you through a few of these and I will leave a link down below. So if you just wanna cut me off right now, feel free. But uh, I'm gonna go through this right now so that those that are watching know what you're getting, getting into. So let me just come down here and, and give you a quick... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, a, a, a quick, what's going on here? Okay, you're gonna need this login.gov here in order to uh, get into Sam and Grant. So they'll use that login. So this is gonna be your main login, your major login that you'll start using in order to get in contact with the federal government in order for them to contact you with these grants, okay? Uh, so you're gonna use username, password to log into their site. So we recommend that you register in the following order. Very important guys, do this in order, keep it simple, keep everything. And, and also it's gonna be asking you for a lot of passwords here, big passwords, long ones that you know, you're not gonna really probably remember. Maybe you're better at that than most people, but uh, a lot of people just can't remember passwords. So write this down, put it in a file, do whatever you have to do to save your password. So you're gonna first do the login.gov, uh, then you're gonna to go to the uh, SAM, and then you're gonna to go to grants.gov. Scroll down to create an account to set up in login.gov. You're gonna click that link right there, and it's gonna bring you into this uh, create an account for the login.gov. Now this is where you're, you know, you're basically log in through this site in order to reach the other sites. Okay, so you're gonna to have to go through all this. And just to give you an example of, of how this is gonna work, secure passwords must be at least 12 characters and should not include any commonly. See, large characters, once again, uh, have a pen and paper or, or have a folder ready to keep all of these notes that you're gonna be uh, needing to uh, log in to your government account that you're making. Okay, so let me jump out of there. Okay. So we're, we're back out of there. Now we're back to the uh, arts.gov page, the first the link that I'll be having below for you as well. So uh, next, after you create your login.com or your login.gov registration, you're gonna create the SAM registration. Uh, to get started, SAM registrations, once you've activated, can take a day or more to be visible on grants.gov. So this is gonna take you to the grants.gov page that uh, will you know lead you to new grants and uh, all kinds of different grants. and just because a grant says it's one thing doesn't mean that you're not uh, eligible for it because you can always uh, re reconstruct your businesses to fit inside the grant or make the grant fit inside your business, more or less. So don't ever uh, discontent, discount any grants. Uh, remember this method that I use a lot. Uh, when in doubt, apply. Okay, when in doubt, apply. Okay, so let me just go into SAM entity registration. So you get started in SAM and you'll be more visible, verify your SAM registration ahead of the application deadline to which you are applying. So when you click on that uh, link right there, the SAM registration, here is going to be the government, uh, the, the site that you're going to be going to. Okay, so you're gonna go here, you're gonna look here, and here is your registration grant for your SAM.gov ID. You're gonna go through all these steps. Once again, this is gonna take some time to do this, but this is where you're going to be able to go get these grants. And also if you have a business, it can uh, enable you to bid on certain projects that the government has out. Like say you're under, in a construction business or a landscaping business, and the government is uh, doing some work in this area. They will say, hey, well, we have uh, 50,000 set aside over here for this work that we need over here. How about uh, your business do it? And you can say, yeah, well, I'm in. So. <laughs> Hey, you know, so this is a, a good thing to, to uh, look into and to get involved with if you are in need. So you're gonna go through all this and there's your SAM. So you're gonna have to register with SAM as well. Now let's go back. So after we go back, now we're gonna have to see, we're gonna have to register with the grants.gov. Okay, this is the, um, a, a crazy cool website that uh, actually it's, it's hard to understand at first, but once you get in, into this uh, system, then you can start you'll start understanding it more as you go. It's kind of a, uh, you'll, you'll be in, in your own little internship as you're going, so. Uh, so grants.gov registration, you go to organizations registration after setting up your login account, uh, login.gov account and your registration of SAM. So after you've done that, you'll go into your uh, grants.org. Now here you're gonna go and create another profile and uh, you'll be involved in all three of them. Your login with your login.gov account and your SAM account and your uh, grants.gov account. And this will give you all the information on how to uh, register to grants.gov. It says the grants.gov registration can be completed in minutes, but once again, you're gonna have to create a password, blah, 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 do all that fun stuff and, and create a profile. And you'll begin registering for grants in your area because basically they're now looking for you instead of you constantly looking for them. Okay, so we use a lot of these programs on our site when we get your information. Hey, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You might leave a comment down below and we will go in and we will look for grants all within your area. 
And if we don't know what sort of business you're in, it, it's a little bit hard for us to to lead you into that way. But uh, anyway, this is how we do it, and this is how you can do it uh, starting right now. And like it said, it could take weeks to actually get to where you want to be. But once you've taken those weeks, you won't have to continue spending, uh, you know, 10 minutes or 30 minutes a week listening to Speak and See. <laughs> the guy's a nut. But uh, you don't have to, you know, go in having other people find it for you. But however, you will be right on track to having your own method of getting your grants. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you do this properly and correctly, and it might be a little, you know, instringent at times, but it, it, it will pay off. It will pay off for you in the future. So hopefully you guys, this information helps you get to where you're looking to be. Let me know how it's going down below. And if you've gotten grants from those other videos we put out, let me know down below because we all like to celebrate together too, okay? So once again, I wanna thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, and click that notification button so when I get information out, you can get information in. And can somebody say, hey, we still want our 10K. Yeah. Yeah.